to Drink Wine Be Crafty. I'm Megan and today I'm going to show you how I made this wall decor I made for my daughter. Galaxy effect. I thought it turned out really cute and she loves it. Um, the supplies that you'll need to make this project are black rope. I bought this at Joann's. You will need a box or canvas of some sort and this I bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, they have a ton of these. They have like little quotes on them. And you don't have to paint it because I actually didn't paint the, the one that I made this on. But if you do want to paint it, I would say paint it black if you feel like you want to cover up the design. And then you'll need some paint. We have blue, white, pink, and purple. This really bright colors is what you want to go with. Um, it's just This is just acrylic paint that I purchased at Walmart. And then... The letters on it are actually iron-on vinyl. Um, if you have a Cricut, um, just definitely make whatever quote you want in a white iron-on vinyl. I had white. I thought it might even be cool with like a silver vinyl. You know, you can make it your own. Do your own quote if you want to go that route as well. But you can also, I'm sure you can also paint a quote on it if you if you find a stencil or something, if you don't have a Cricut, but I used a iron on white vinyl and grab a glass of wine. I have my Pinot today and we're going to get into this project. This part is super easy, but you'll need a lot of hot glue and you'll do the same thing over and over. So it does take a little while. You could use thicker rope and it wouldn't take as much time, but with this smaller, this is three millimeter rope, so it does take a pretty good bit of rope to do this process. And I just take it nice and slow to make sure everything stays in place. Um, and then kind of once you get going, you'll get the hang of it. Just a matter of keeping it all straight and uniformed. almost at the end and I will tell you that if it's a little bit uneven last time whenever I did it a little bit more straight this time but last time I had a lot left on one side and I didn't have as much on the other and if you run out of board but you still need to cover up uh, the remainder on one side that's kind of a little off all you have to do is just put the glue directly on the rope instead of like how I put it on the box and then just piece the rope together to completely f finish the lines um, but it's not the end of the world if you run out of a little bit of board on one side and the other you still have uh, have some just 
put your glue on your rope and, and uh, continue doing the exact same thing instead of doing it on the box, put it on the rope. It'll stick together and it'll all look just fine in the end. Now it's time to paint. I use these, these are kid paint brushes because they're a little bit more, the bristles are kind of like hard and they're not very soft and it's easier for the paint to be able to be splashed onto this can, the canvas. So grab your paint and there's really no method to it. It's just making it what I do is a little bit at a time of each color until I get it exactly how I want. Um, and slinging it, I do so many different ways to do it. Um, but yeah, just throw it around and have some fun. That's all this that there is to this. finished the painting and I you know I love it I think this is such a fun way to paint and it turns out different every time and it's fun I like it and then I asked Sophia I told her I was making another one for this video and she said instead of it saying live your dream she wanted it to say dream big so by Sophia's request it's going to go into her room we are going to have one that says dream big now you will want to grab a measuring tape if you want to eyeball it go for it but lord knows y'all know i like to eyeball it whenever i do stuff like this sometimes but with this it's so simple just measuring how big it is i mean how far it is from each side and just getting it i mean that is so dang close well let's do the top and the bottom because i can tell you just want it to be the same distance from the top as it is the bottom. Look at that. I eyeball. That's why I just eyeball things, y'all. I got it right the first time. All right, so now we are going to iron this on. And it does get a little bit tricky because the rope's got the little ridges. So it, you have to be a little bit patient with this process, but it will stick. Um, what I do first is just press down and just kind of get it started and then we're going to go a little bit more and push down pretty hard just to get it on there and to get it to start sticking. And then you kind of, what I was doing and I'll show you once I finish this with each letter just kind of pressing and rubbing it into where it will stay in the ridges and just doing like a little piece of the letter at a time like don't move on until you get that piece stuck down I just use the tip of the iron to push it down and get it in into the little ridges of the rope and you can kind of see how the how it's taking I don't know if you can see it but it does start to give like a little bit of a ripple effect in the word but it, 
you want that because that's what's going to make it stick. So just keep doing that until you, once you do all the letters, then you can slowly try to pick it up. And if it doesn't stick, I'll show you. Let me just do this and then I'll show you when I'm ready to pick it up. We'll see how it turns out. Now I'm gonna pick it up and see if I see any pieces that are not down very well. It took pretty good, but I do see that corner right there on the B is still lifted a little. So I'm gonna press it down a little bit more. And there we have it, that's it. And it's gonna go on my baby's wall. We're gonna have dream big and live your dream you can see i did a little bit more spatter with this one but this one i did more like the long stroke so they're cute they're a little bit different but um that's that's what i wanted this what makes it fun i hope that you like this remember guys to subscribe and come back and see me next time i will have more tutorials to come see you later bye